<laughs> How the heck are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano. And have I got a one up Wednesday for you. And it's in a box too. Yeah, so <laughs> what have we got going on today? Hey, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe. We're almost 600 subscribers. That's awesome. And then over here on Facebook, you can go over to Rover land facebook page and check out a lot of good stuff being posted over there about land rovers all right so we've got this here box i bought from ebay uh and kissimmee florida fl kissimmee i think this came from ebay i think yeah i think so anyway so let's get into it yeah i uh, hope you go back and uh this is when what on wednesday the the Monday prior had an excellent, excellent uh, video there with the uh, Mattel Creations uh, creation of the uh, 65 Land Rover Gen 2. That was awesome. Uh, so we've got uh, uh, we got some uh, all-you-can-eat buffet. I love a buffet, man. Especially, especially the uh, the uh, China. Chinese food buffet. I love it. Oh, yes. Medieval times. Or is this medieval times? Yes. Oh, awesome. <laughs> That's the, uh, oh, if you want to know anything about medieval times, just watch the Jim Carrey movie. You guys all know that I'm a big Jim Carrey fan. Yes. The cable guy, cable guy, cable guy. Go check that out. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> Oh man. Okay, this is what it is. This is what yep, this is what I wanted. All right, you ready? Don't don't mind all this stuff in the background from Jerome. We'll get to that later. <laughs> but bam! Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta look at this with my bare naked eyes and not through the camera. Cause this is the first time I have seen this. This is just awesome. I finally bit the bullet. Uh, I want to say it was like $12, $13. I finally had to buy one of these because I just, I, I, I wasn't finding them. I, hopefully I am, you know, the, it's going to come out hopefully soon in my area, but right now it's just not available. So yeah. Wow, Matchbox Collectors Mattel, 19, uh, the 65 Land Rover Gen 2 pickup. So this is what they were talking about. So this is what they're, it's the Gen 2, but this is the pickup version. So that kind of gives us a clue of what's going on. So this is a different casting, but they have just modified a couple of their castings, took the roof off, and uh, because the, 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 um, Removable parts one, the, the regular main line, uh, doesn't have an interior. And you know what? That interior right there is the interior that's in the Mattel Creations. I'm going to tag that video at the end, but that is the same one. It doesn't go all the way back, so that's what they used on that. Uh, I did some more looking afterwards, um, and uh, but they did punch a hole in the... Uh, in the hood and they put a spare tire kind of like the uh safari survivor that uh matchbox does and yeah so what is what's that decal on the uh, right side there cool yeah because it says what is that cool vintage cool and vintage yeah that's a whole there's a whole um um i guess what, what would you call it um fashion thing going on and this has got the rear riders with now blacked out uh we you know wheel hubs uh rims uh the the uh mattel uh creations one has chrome ones which i wasn't too excited about but now this one has got a chrome base it does have a trailer hitch boy you know i don't remember to see if that uh the other one from from uh, Mattel Creations had a trailer hitch, but this has a trailer hitch. So maybe when this uh, goes to the main line with, without the opening parts, or if, if it just does the opening parts and not the collector series, um, yeah, we'll have we'll be able to hook trailers up. But this has got a chrome base, which, all right, I guess. I mean, it gives it some color and stuff like that. 
But uh, yeah, this is very, very nice. I don't know if I'm going to be able to really get a, uh, uh, a top view. Oh yeah, there you go. And look, see the chrome on the floorboards? That's the base. That is the base. Yes. Wow. So that's kind of cool. Sorry for the, the, the glare there, but I'm trying to get you to see what's going on. But the, win, the windscreen is uh, clear plastic. And that's a separate piece from the the dash and all that. So very, very cool. You know, so it's got the full decos uh, painted, the tail lights and uh, Land Rover badge, and then the cool on the license plate. So that's very nice. So I'm gonna say like the tail lights are probably, are they deco or are they painted? But then the side has got a deco, that cool and vintage. But then the door handle and the uh, top of the door frame is chrome. When then the uh, tie downs on the bed are chrome too up there. So it's got some side de decos. And then the front. Now the, the grill is, is uh, boy. Yeah, so uh, I don't know if those are, yeah, those so the grill and the headlights are painted silver and then they put a daub of white on those headlights, but it looks kind of crappy. <laughs> I don't know if it's supposed to look that way or not, but it's kind of crappy. Then, then the uh, lights on the wings are just white. They're not color coded or, or correctly coded, colored. And then it's got the, uh, now the front has got the Land Rover as the license plate, the Land Rover logo as the license plate, and then like a sticker for the cool and vintage there. But, uh, well, we kind of did that backwards. Usually I torture you guys and look at the packaging and everything first, but now <laughs> we just jumped right in. I was so excited. Uh, like I said, I, I don't, this is kind of on the peak of my, price range that I don't uh, true grip tires. Oh, so they're not real riders. They call them true grip. I, I think that's the first time that I ever saw that. And then uh, metal parts, metal pieces. Now it's not metal on metal. I believe that that base is going to be plastic, you know, it's chromed. So I don't think it's metal, but uh, here's the side. Oh, one. So this is the first of the series. Okay. So here it is. And now there is a series that's in Walmart right now and it has the blue Toyota and I don't know some other cars and I think it's actually six and not four or, or whatever more than four I know that the series right now on the but I don't know if that series comes out before this one per se in the lineup or what but uh, there are the other cars that I, I have I've never seen any of these at Walmart yet so I, I'm not sure. Um, so there's all the uh, jargon, the UPC. You want to take a look at that stuff. You just freeze frame that and then you could, or screenshot it, then you could take a look. But this is one of 20. So yeah, look at, look at the card art. You can see, yeah. So really kind of cool, 2021. Yeah, I kind of, I like the side one there. That's, that's really kind of cool the way they got that. And you know, that's not bad. Uh, I don't know what's on the top, but the car's on it, but yeah, nice mover. I really like this. Um, I'm, I'm sorry guys, I can't open it. I just can't do it. I did it with the mainline Defender 90 and I even drilled that bugger open for you. But this one, I, got, I gotta wait till I get a couple more before I open these up. Uh, I just went to the diecast meeting the uh, meet last weekend. Uh, nobody had any of these, so yeah, we're still on the search here in Wisconsin for that. So yeah, but anyway, I wanted to do a preview and a review and a look around uh, at this one and uh, kind of be out there on the cutting edge for Rover stuff here at Roverland. All right, that does it for me. Thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, this is just awesome. Cool. If you can, buy these. I don't know if I'd pay 13 bucks, but, you know, I'm just saying. Get them if you can. All right. That's it for me. I'm out of here. Thank you for joining me. Remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.